Imagine the Earth. All that blue that you see is water, and it makes up nearly 75% of the Earth's surface. However, we can only use a tiny fraction of it. Only 2.5% of Earth's water is fresh water found in glaciers and polar ice caps, groundwater, surface waters such as lakes, ponds, and rivers, and in the atmosphere. And only 0.3% of that is accessible for us to use. Water is essential, not just for drinking and keeping clean, but through our lives. For example, to make cars that get us to school and to grow the food that we eat, we can't live without water. And as our population grows, there is even more pressure on our limited supplies. Today, about 2.5 billion people live in regions with an uncertain supply of fresh water. By 2050, with economic and population growth in those areas, more than half the world's predicted population will face water stress if nothing is done. Water is essential and needs to be conserved and protected. Water is an essential part of agriculture. In fact, nearly three quarters of the world's fresh water is used in agriculture to produce the food, fiber, and products that we need to live. For example, it takes 435 liters of water to grow enough wheat to make just one loaf of bread. And about 11,000 liters to make a pair of blue jeans. As our climate changes, the weather is becoming more extreme and unpredictable. In some parts of the world, the climate is becoming drier, and in others, it is becoming wetter. But the unpredictable availability of water is making it harder for farmers to grow crops, which puts our food supply at risk. Through advances in technology and improved best management practices, Farmers try and ensure that crops have the right amount of water while maintaining water quality. It's about using the right amounts at the times when crops need water most. Too little and seeds can dry up, and too much, the water is wasted as runoff. For example, in countries like Kenya where rainfall can be unpredictable, farmers collect and store rainwater to reuse when it's needed most. They also utilize drip irrigation, where water is delivered close to plant roots through a pipe drop by drop, minimizing water losses from evaporation and increasing yields by as much as 100% compared to plants only receiving rainwater. In countries like Canada and the United States, pivot irrigation is a great way to apply water at specific times of the day, and technology plays a key role in water management. Farmers can use their phones to gain information on the soil moisture content of their crops, get live weather updates, and calculate how much water is needed for the day, remotely turning their irrigation systems on and off to use water more efficiently while increasing crop yields. Another great best management practice is conservation tillage, which involves covering at least 30% of the soil's surface with crop residues left after planting. This helps slow water movement, reducing the risk of erosion. It also provides more organic matter, which helps improve soil health. If the soil's health is improved, it will hold more moisture and grow better crops. Landowners can also improve water quality by preserving wetlands and riparian areas, which are spaces between land and the waterway, ideally filled with native grass, bushes, and trees. These areas have many benefits, such as helping filter nutrients that are collected as the water runs over the land, helping control water during floods, and providing habitat for animals. Through innovations such as new seed varieties, scientists are developing crops that are more resistant to change in climates so we can grow crops even when the growing conditions are not ideal. Sharing best practices and providing everyone with the tools they need to use water more efficiently. It is important that every single day of the year, we all take the time and make the effort to conserve and protect our precious water supplies.